Hi, in this video I'll be discussing about Azure Service Bus. Before jumping into what exactly is Azure Service Bus, let me just go through what are the topics I'll be covering. I'll be covering the, these topics, namely queues, topics, subscription, deferral messages, peak lock, managing rules, sending messages to multiple subscription, reading messages from multiple subscription, service bus processor, auto forwarding, delete a queue, receive and delete the message, delivery counter, transactions, auto delete on idle, duplicate detections and there are many. So what exactly is Azure Service Bus? Azure Service Bus is a messaging service provided by Microsoft Azure that enable reliable asynchronous communication between applications and services. It allows developers to build decoupled system by facilitating the exchange of messages between different components of a distributed application whether running on premises or in the cloud. So basically, if you have a, any applications and you want to decouple that, you can utilize the, your service bus while communicating between the decoupled code, the decoupled domain which you are going to create. So that's where one of the scenario where we can use Azure Service Bus. What are the characteristics? Azure Service Bus, it provides reliable asynchronous message delivery. It has advanced features like first in first out, deletering queue, temporal control, routing, etc etc we can deliver at least one message and it has optional order delivery of the message it also does provide these are the few characteristics but there are many i'll just share the link also so you that go through all of those characteristics now there are two important types of azure service first first is queue second is topics queue is basically it provides one to one communication between the sender who is send who sends the message and the receiver who receives those messages topics in the topics we will create a multiple subscriptions you can say each subscription is a like a queue and you will be sending those messages to those subscription which we have created inside the topics and then at the receiver end you can receive those messages in topics there can be multiple sender and multiple receivers so that's the benefit of topics over the queues about queue, as I was just discussing, there will be one sender and there will be one receiver. Sender is sending the message, receiver is receiving the message. That's how the queue works. In case of topics, there's a sender and there are multiple receivers. There can be multiple senders also in case of topic. So the important thing is inside the topic, we have to create a subscriptions. So here, if you see, there are three subscriptions. You can name it anything, one, two, three subscriptions. And when you send the message, there are a set of rules you can apply. You can send messages to one subscription. You can send messages to all the subscription. You can send messages based upon some rules to this subscription. I'll go through each of these scenarios when we do the coding and there I'll show you how we can segregate or apply the rules on the topics. And same at the receiver end, you can receive messages from one subscription. You can receive messages from all the subscription. You can receive messages based upon some rule everything applies or the receiver end also. So let's just jump directly into your portal and create our first Azure service bus. Okay, before going into your portal, I want you to know about few of the SDK concepts. So these are the concepts which we will be using while coding. First is a service bus client. We will be using it to create the connection, to build the connection with the service bus. Service bus sender, we will be using to send the messages receiver it will receive the message and then the last is service bus processor it's kind of a wrapper on a service bus receiver basically it provides many of more features than just with the service bus receiver we will be having let us jump into the your portal and see how this works